Go down to the Metrodome and News 11's Jeff Pazzle, where the Twins are warming up for the big event. Jeff? Yeah, the Twins are just starting their uh, batting practice activities behind us here, uh, hoping to pick up where they left off last night, maybe another victory tonight. And we're hoping to pick up where we left off last night, too. If you didn't join us last night at 5, you missed it. Paul Molitor's debut as a reporter right here on News 11. Of course, he's the star of the Milwaukee Brewers and joining us in our coverage of this baseball playoff series. And we're going to uh, let you go at it one more time. You did such a good job. They want to see you again. So here you go. Paul's got a special okay. guest. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We'll give it a try here on the second night. I have with me, of course, Gary Gaetti, one of the stars of last night's ball game. Gary, you had to have been a little bit surprised. Uh, Doyle Alexander, 9-0 with the Tigers, and yet he hangs a fastball for, for, for you, the first at bat, and he comes back and hangs a slider. You took advantage of both of those pitches. <laughs> Well, I was, like I said last night, I was just doing what I normally do. I swing hard in case I hit it. <laughs> He's always been tough on us, and if you get a chance, you know, if you take that same pitch, you're going to be done that at bat. You know that as well as anybody. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, the other thing I want to ask you, do you think this experience thing is getting a little blown out of proportion? Uh, you know, they say the Tigers have been there three years ago, and the Twins don't have that much playoff experience. And yet with your victory last night, your confidence level has to be very high. Yeah, I think a lot of it's blown out of proportion because we have some veterans that have seen some playoff action, and I think they've added a lot to our team. <clears throat> and we've been around the league for six years now. <clears throat> we don't really know what it's like to win, but, you know, we're, we're finding out in a hurry. Well, I'll tell you, if you'd play like you did last night, you guys are going to go a long way. Good luck tonight. Okay, Gary. Back to you, Jeff. Not bad. Not bad. But I'll tell you what, we're going to give you the ultimate critique here from a real pro. Step on in here, please. Bob Costas of NBC Sports. What do you think of Paul Molitor as a reporter? Well, I thought that his rapport with his interview subject was excellent, Jeff. Excellent eye contact with the camera. I'm especially impressed by the vintage Lindsey Nelson sport coat. <laughs> all great announcers wear the Lindsey Nelson jacket, which causes all kinds of vertical control problems with the home television sets. But I believe that he and you, for that matter, are a little tall for a sportscaster. I believe a a shorter man makes an excellent broadcaster, don't you? Yeah, we're looking forward to your call of the game tonight. And it all starts tonight, our coverage, at 6.30 right here on TV 11. The matchup on the mound is going to be Burt Blylevin against Jack Morris. We'll have our special Twins Extra, extra innings, coming up starting at 6.30. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, let's go upstairs in the Metrodome to Randy Shaver. All right.